hello everyone welcome to in five minutes in this video we are going to continue with our basic curves so we have next curve as strophoids so the equation of strophoids will be y square equal to x square into something okay so here when we have a minus x upon a plus x so when we have the minus x term in the numerator and plus x term in the denominator then this curve will open towards negative x axis so this curve will, will open to our negative x axis something like this as i have told you whenever we have the denominator we put that denominator equal to zero so when we put a plus x equal to zero we will get x equal to minus of a so x equal to minus of a is nothing but our asymptote so we will have asymptote here so this curve will open towards negative x axis and it will go up till the asymptote so this is our minus a point after that we have to find the point on x axis to find a point on x axis we will put y equal to 0 when we put y equal to 0 we get our equation as x square into a minus x equal to 0 so either x will be 0 or a minus x will be 0 so we get x equal to a so these are the two points on the x axis so one point is x equal to 0 one point is x equal to a as I have told you, whenever we have the two points on the x-axis, it forms a loop. So this is our loop. So this is our curve of strophoid. So you can remember this curve whenever we have the minus x term in the numerator and plus x term in the denominator, then the loop is on the positive side of the x-axis and the asymptote is on the negative side. Similarly, we have another curve y square equal to x square a plus x upon a minus x. So when we put denominator equal to 0, we get x equal to a, x equal to a indicates that it is an asymptote. So asymptote will be something here and the curve will be on positive side of the x axis. When we put y equal to 0 in this equation, we will get x square into a plus x equal to 0. Either x will be 0 or x will be minus a. So x equal to minus a and x equal to 0 are the two points on the x axis. So this is one point and this is x equal to minus a. So now the loop is on the negative side of the x axis. Okay. So as you can see here, here we have plus x that indicates that this curve is on the positive side of the x axis and a minus x in the denominator indicates the asymptote. And when we find the point of intersection on the x axis, we get the loop on the negative side of the x axis. So these are the two very famous curve that is trophoids. After this we have cissoid. So the equation of cissoid is y square equal to x cube upon 2a minus x. So this is the equation of curve whenever we have denominator we put that denominator equal to 0. So 2a minus x equal to 0. So x equal to 2a indicates asymptote. So this will be our x equal to 2a line. So this is our asymptote. So our curve will start from this point and end till asymptote only. So it will start in this way and it will go till here. Similarly here. And here we have y square and x cube. So these curves are symmetric about x axis. So just remember the four rules which I have taught you and you can draw any curve.